Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your March 4 and 5, next 48, March 2022 for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for Geminian. Okay. So this is for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for Gemini. All right. So let's see. Gemini, March 4 and 5, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Let's see. Gemini. What's the messages here for Geminian? Sorry, I need to fix this. Okay, what's the messages here for Gemini, please? So we have the judgment and the temperance. So a lot of spiritual guidance here. A lot of be being guided by your higher ups. You see this these wings. There's something being resi resignated, resurrected here. Okay. Something that ended is being brought back to life or, or there's something important that you need to say or you're calling something out this could be something you need to say to a sagittarius that's your opposite sign so it could be you as well or a sagittarius needs to say something to you i feel like someone's calling you i saw i feel like someone has a very powerful voice a very angelic voice but it's also very it's very strong but it's also very sweet or very caring i feel like somebody can be yeah somebody just has a very strong voice but it's very loving and very yeah, the kid Queen of Swords, yeah. Some somebody somebody could be like they speak out for a living. They could um, but I'm getting like somebody here that speaks uh the truth, but they are very uh loving and very sweet as well, or something like that. Yeah, we have the star card, the ten of cups, and the in the justice. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Cancerian. But I feel like, yeah, there's somebody here, Gemini, somebody in the public eye, something about someone's voice you really like someone's voice you really like how someone talks you really like how somebody could be very straightforward and cutthroat and then the next they can be very sweet and and um loving or something like that i feel like somebody seems to really balance you out or helps you to see things in a different perspective here gemini or this is you what is the um i mean or this is whatever two 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 on the clock what is the temperance okay yeah, we have the we have the um nine of cups in reverse. So nine of cups in reverse is about living. It's about gambling, drinking, maybe having a lot of sex, doing a lot of drugs, being unhappy, emotionally unfulfilled. You know, it could be breakups, um, and family friends, um, family friend dynamic, relationships, or whatever. And um, yeah, the knight of cups. I feel like you I feel like you really you really want to reconcile you really want to 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 balance something out with somebody you want to apologize but you're holding back yeah you really want to give somebody something you want to apologize you want to reach out text them maybe give them something but but I don't know what's the nine of cups in reverse or they do with you what's the nine of cups in reverse yeah we have the eight of pentacles the two of wands and the five of swords yeah i feel like they had a two of wands and the eight of pentacles okay so somebody so it could be that somebody's getting what they want or or you are you are you upset yeah the five of swords i feel like somebody could be a little bit I, I feel like somebody here really admires your work or really admires what you do somebody sees you as a wish as wish fulfillment you really balance them okay or they feel like you're the perfect blending of energies or something like that somebody just knows you're a good choice but i feel like somebody could be a little bit jealous or envious at what you do here i feel like uh, okay yeah the queen of wands what is the five of swords so i feel like yeah the, the king of swords somebody's very much a tyrant they're very cold I feel like somebody's angry. I feel like somebody makes you want to be a better person or make better decisions in your life, better choices. But I feel like somebody here is very arrogant. They're very cynical. Somebody is very, is very prideful. Somebody refuses to admit that or say that or they refuse to come towards you or this is you. Okay, somebody just refuses to do that because they're too busy being prideful and too busy trying to win or one up or whatever. It, although they know that this is a good choice for them, they're being called to do this with the judgment. Okay. 
they're being called to balance something out. It's just like somebody does not want to. Somebody's very unhappy in their life. They feel very unfulfilled with the Nine of Cups. They know that this is what they need to do, but they refuse to. They're too arrogant. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. They're too arrogant or they or they like to play mind games or somebody's also envious of you. Your position, your work, what you do or something like that. What's the Five of Swords and the King of Swords? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Because somebody, yeah, the Eight of Swords, Six of Cups. So someone's stuck. They're, they're yeah. Somebody refuses to move. Somebody's fearful or they're stuck on the past. They're stuck on someone from their past. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. This is you, Gemini. And this is you too, Knight of Swords. So I feel like you're just really, you're, you're, you're really angry. You're feeling stuck. Yeah, the Two of Swords and the Lovers and the Ace of Swords. It's, just, it's like you refuse to see a situation for what it is. You, this, Sagittarius... Uh, Sagittarius is your opposite sign. So this sounds a lot like Sagittarius. I mean, somebody refuses to see this love. They refuse to see this connection. They refuse to see shit for what it is. They feel like they're winning or they're one-upping or they want to stay in control or they're too prideful. But somebody's losing. They're miserable. They're miserable as fuck, but they feel like shit. Fuck it. As long as I feel like I'm winning at the moment. But somebody's a loser. They're a fucking loser. Like straight up. Yeah, nine of wands. I feel like somebody wants to move on from, yeah, Six of Swords from a water sign. Or, or what is the Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups? Yeah, somebody's in love. Like the Two of Cups. What is the Eight of Swords and the Two of, and the Six of Cups? Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups. Yeah, the devil. So that's what it is. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. Somebody is, is like fearful of, of letting go of these addictions or, or the past. Or somebody's like... Somebody's like chained to the fucking past or somebody feels stuck to this devil. This could be somebody doing spell work to keep someone stuck. Absolutely 100%. This sounds like Sagittarius is reading. The nine of wands and the five of swords. Somebody's very hateful as well. Somebody could be very fucking hateful. Very. But somebody refuses to stay. They want to stay stuck. Somebody does not want to give up their addictions, their ways or anything. They want to be able to keep doing what they want to do. But and they're, it's like somebody is angry, frustrated. It's like they hate. It's like somebody wants to hate you, but they, they can't. Instead, they love you. They find you to be their emotional fulfillment. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to give up on gambling, their addictions, their sex addictions, their drinking addictions, their drugs, the multiple partners, whatever this is. They don't want to do that. And they know this is the best choice to make. With the judgment and the two of wands, somebody's being called to make better decisions in their life, to balance themselves out, to go towards whatever this is that they're going towards. But instead, they're sitting up hating and jealous of somebody. I feel like somebody's bad because somebody is just working. They make good decisions. They're working. They're very spiritual. They're very connected to the divine. They're very wholesome. I'm getting a wholesome energy. Some it's like somebody wants to corrupt somebody and they can't. They're not, they're just not gonna. This person's just not gonna be in your life, Gemini. Or this is your ass. Or this person ain't gonna be in your life. You pick what side of this shit you on. Cause this is just real stupid to me. And real childish and real motherfucking petty. Like, you feel me? Somebody is a tyrant. Somebody is very narcissistic. Somebody is very, very much wanting to be in control. But somebody here is, is fucking insecure. They're a loser and they know they're a fucking loser. This is you or somebody else. This is Sagittarius is reading. A Sagittarius or your ass is a fucking loser. Just period, point blank. Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Tower, the Ten of Wands. Yeah. It's like somebody is is like refusing. They're doing everything they can not to, to not to not to to fight against this change, to fight against what they're being called to do. The judgment is it came out first. That's the strongest energy. Somebody here is being called by the higher ups. They were put on this earth. Somebody here cannot let go of player ways or or all these addictions and drinking and gambling, but they're not called to be like that. They're not called to be that way. Somebody here wants to impress their fucking friends or impress everybody around them. These loser ass fucking friends that they rock with or whatever the fuck is going on. They want to, they, they, they cannot change their fucking ways. They refuse. They're fighting even against the universe. So what do you think is going to happen eventually? Somebody here is going to be asked out. They're going to lose all these same raggedy ass friends that they are trying to impress. This money that they are trying to hold on to. This relationship that ain't serving them anymore. Everything is going to come crumbling down. It's only a matter of fucking time because somebody refuses to change somebody refuses 
Somebody here is very arrogant and very prideful and they're fearful. They're fear of change. They fear letting go of things that no longer serve them. They, it's like a phobia for them. Eight of swords and the devil. What's the messages? Yeah, the six of swords. Somebody's guides is guiding someone to go toward a situation, to move on, to let go. Yeah, eight of cups, to walk away, to, to let go of the past, these people, your old ways. Somebody's being pushed to do this and they refuse to listen, man. They refuse to do what's best for them. They refuse to go towards better. They refuse to make them their lives better. They just, they just, they can't. I can't. I'm, I can't because then everybody's going to look at me as a, like a fucking clown, but you look like a fucking clown anyway. What's the messages, man? A real loser ass clown. What's the messages? This is definitely like Sagittarius is reading. But that is your opposite sign. So it make a lot of sense with this clown ass motherfucking shit, dog. Like real talk. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody, somebody is, they're, they're, they're lost. They're not being spiritually guided. Ace of Cups in reverse is like the love is lost. Everything is lost in it. Sorry. The fuck? Everything is lost in it. I, I mean, it's just like an outpouring of love. This person doesn't really have love in their life. Nine of Cups is also, the, literally, this is what this card means in reverse. Somebody that is trying to impress friends. This is the type of person that only has friends around them because of the, they're loose with money. Because they pay for everything when, when it's time to go out. They like to show off. They pay for every fucking thing. Somebody could be into gambling, have a gambling problem. They also could be into selling drugs or doing something illegal here. But but um, I'm sorry, I had to, uh, let me see this. But this is somebody who is like loose. Loose sexually, loose in the, with their money. And they only have friends due to that. If they lost everything tomorrow, this person would not have none of these friends. Nine of cups in reverse. None of these motherfuckers would fuck with this person. And that's on God. Like, this person would not have shit. These friends would disappear. This person would be heartbroken to see, to really see how much people really don't fuck with this person. I'm getting people don't even really like this person. They're a tyrant. They're very, they're very cynical. They're very cold. They're very hateful. They're very jealous, but, but they have money and they pay for everything. So, you know, or, or this person that their wit stays with them because of that, or these friends that they have are their friends because of that. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to read that. Yeah, the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. So the ace of cups is like blocked psychic abilities. Block, they're not listening to their intuition. This is somebody who's very angry. They're not full of love. This person is hateful. This person is miserable, dog. They refuse to change. This person, this person is just like, this person just lives in, in guilt, resentment, hate, hatred. They hate their life. They hate you. They hate everything. What's the eight? What's the eight of pentacles, man? What is this person looking? Why are they looking so mean? Is it what's the eight of pentacles? Somebody refuses to work on themselves, and I'm getting you're wholesome, you're working, you're living your life. Somebody, it's like somebody's like, why you gotta be wholesome like that? Yeah, the justice. Why you gotta be wholesome? Why you gotta work on yourself? Yeah, the eight of pentacles. Somebody sees that you're happy. This person hates that you're happy. Yeah, you're single. You're beautiful. You're balanced. Justice is yours. You're you're living your life. You're just, somebody just hating on you because you're doing you. You're living your life. You're happy, and they're miserable in their fucking life. They don't take control of anything. Everybody else has control over them. Somebody just hates everything. Like they just. This person is not spirit. This person does not want to give in to, to, to being spiritual. Somebody does not want to come. 
to, to give in to who they truly are meant to be. They want to keep being this toxic, fucked up, dirty motherfucker. And they're going to get karma for that shit. But they're sitting up giving you the evil eye because you're happy. You're single and beautiful and wholesome. Or, or, or you don't fuck with people. Or you do your thing. Or whatever the fuck this is, man. Like, I, I'm just... I get disgusted by motherfuckers like this. This is disgusting. Like, this is truly fucking disgusting. This is somebody just highly, highly fucking disturbed, man. And their energy is just really, really throwing me the fuck off here. This is somebody who um, they don't put in the work. This is somebody that, that doesn't, they don't know how to put in the work. You're study eight of pinnacles. You build, you put in the work. This is somebody who's creatively blocked as well. They're watching you. You're creative. You're putting in work. You invest in yourself. You're happy. You're doing your thing. Somebody's miserable. You really need to stay away from this person. This, this, this person is just a miserable fuck. And this, this energy is reminding me of Aquarius and Sagittarius' is re, um, energy and reading. This person is a loser. And I'm just going to keep it real. A real clown ass fucking loser. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles and the goddamn Page of Cups. But somebody wants to offer you something. They want to apologize or give you something or date you. But I'm getting you don't want that shit. The Tower... Yeah, the Four of Pentacles and the Empress. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Somebody refuses to let a situation fall. Um, fall. This could be their baby mama. Somebody, the Empress could be a baby mama or a wife. They refuse to let go of this wife, this baby mama, or something that's not serving them and stressing them out, or or their family or whatever this is. They they, they gotta hold up their appearance with this family, but nobody gives a fuck about this person unless they're doing something for them. That's the only time they give a fuck is if they're doing something. You see that death card in the reverse. Somebody refuses to let go of what they did. Yeah. Somebody is really creatively blocked here. Somebody is really creatively blocked. Okay. What's the, what's the higher font? What's the higher font? And then somebody wants to sit up. Yeah, the sun card. You're respected. You're looking good. You're happy. You're in a respected position. People look up to you. They really, yeah, people love you. You're happy. You're doing your thing. Somebody cannot stand that. Somebody, yeah, the tower. But somebody refuses to let go. Let a tower fall. They refuse to let something go. They refuse to let something fall. Yeah, the high priestess. Some of you could be tarot readers or spiritual gurus. Somebody, somebody refuses to do that. Yeah, the magician just showed up. So in the page of Pentacles, so somebody's definitely a tarot reader. Somebody's jealous and mad about that as well. They hate that. You're gifted. You have a bunch of gifts. You're naturally gifted. Or you or or or, or and, and then they they struggling and they gotta take care of all these people or they're trying to keep remain seen a certain way. This is lame. So these are your messages, man. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and also follow your girl on TikTok at unique underscore tarot. Bye.